we're going to be looking at modeling with functions. When we're talking about modeling with functions, we're talking that it could be algebraic, we're talking that it could be um, a data set that, that we're trying to find a model for. Uh, it could be just looking at a at a curve on a graph. A couple different things that we're looking for here. Um, the first example, let's talk about algebraically. Algebraically, you're just trying to figure out what does the sentence say that you can pick up and write an equation for or an expression. So, for instance, if you were to have a number a number x is increased by 5 um, and then doubled. Okay, so a number is increased by 5, x plus 5, and then it's doubled. So we multiply by 2. This right here is my expression. All I'm doing is taking that sentence and forming it into a mathematical expression. For instance, like if you're talking about um, I had a shirt that was discounted 60%, how much of the actual percentage is left? What would you do to find what the price of that item actually is? Then we also have um, data when we're talking about fitting it to a curve. Before we get to any data sets, though, we need to talk about one thing, which you guys should already know, is the correlation coefficient. This is the R value. This tells us how likely our um, regression line will fit the curve. So, this is the value that comes up, and it gives you a percentage. So, it might come up as like 0.87. That would mean that it's 87%. Sorry, switching stuff over here. So, let's say I have a data set. What I'm going to do on Desmos is I'm going to add a table. I'm just going to give you some numbers. We'll just make it up on the fly. And you guys can see here, if I zoom out, these are my points. These are my data set. So to find that regression curve, here's the thing. You need to know the different regression equations. So going back to those 12 basic functions, you need to figure out whether it's linear or quadratic or logarithmic. Um, if you're using the true graphing calculator, you, c you don't have to know these equations in order for it to kind of calculate it. Um, you can just type in quadratic regression and it'll automatically do it. But on Desmos, you do need to know which equation you are wanting to use. In this case, if you look at my data, I'm pretty much squaring it. So I'm going to go with uh, y is approximately ax squared. Here's the thing I forgot, I need my subscript of 1. I think I need my subscript here too. Yeah, there we go. And then it's plus bx1 plus c. So now you guys can see that I've got some information here. Um, it, with the quadratic, it only gives you an r-squared, so you'd have to take the square root of that in order to calculate um, your actual r-value. So 
looking at this, you guys can see that the data fits pretty well to this. Uh, so this would be our regression equation. We'll talk about that in class, all the different options that you could have for regression equations in terms of, you know, what is a logarithmic? How do you get that to type in here? Um, the other thing is it didn't show up on this one, but make sure you always click the log mode button. It'll help you. It's more accurate that way, more precise. Like I said, though, we'll be uh, talking about that in class, all the different equations that you can write down. Otherwise, this is uh, modeling with functions, whether you're writing it out yourself in terms of an algebraic expression or using the different data sets in order to use a calculator to figure out your equation.